This program is brought to you by thepodcastfactory.com. Hi, my name is Eero Kafetz, and this is The List Building Lifestyle, the only podcast which delivers cutting-edge conversion strategies from the online trenches straight to your earbuds. Download the transcript of today's episode and all future episodes at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com. I also invite you to grab a free copy of the Wealthy List Builder Survival Guide at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com forward slash survival. And now, once again, it's time to claim your list building lifestyle. Welcome back to another edition of the List Building Lifestyle with your host, Igor K. Fitz. The other day I was browsing my Facebook feed and I noticed something. I live in a very small town. It's only 25,000 people big and 15,000 of these people are Russian. So it's a very tight community and everybody knows everybody pretty much. I mean, you can't really do anything without your neighbor telling the other neighbor and pretty much the whole town knows. So when I was browsing my Facebook the other day, I noticed that quite a few ads actually that I never noticed before and these ads came from people that I know do not have a business. In other words, people who are working a full-time job, some of them work two jobs that are now trying to offer a solution of some sort and become entrepreneurs. Now, I I get it and uh, becoming an entrepreneur has been said is sort of like the, the zeitgeist right now. Right, the entrepreneur is celebrated, the entrepreneur is uh, the hero, and so everybody wants to do something and say, I am an entrepreneur, and that's perfectly fine. But you know, these people they have no understanding of how to advertise, they have no understanding how to run a business, and they quite frankly just started offering the services, and here they are competing for the same ad space as their like established competitors. Now, what this tells you is that the internet has completely eliminated the barriers that used to stand in the way of businesses having to advertise, whether that was budget, whether that was technology, whether that was, you know, connections. The internet has eliminated all these and now anybody who has a brain and a pair of hands and is not lazy to put up a Facebook ad can literally go and advertise their business in the same exact places in the same exact spots as established businesses do. Now, this is perfectly fine with me. In fact, I thrive when I hear things like that because it means that as a society we're moving forward and the economy is booming and I love that and everybody gets an equal shot at success and that's awesome. But as a marketer, what I see is people constantly hammering solutions. They're constantly advertising solutions. They're trying to say, my thing is bigger and better than this thing. My solution is faster and easier than that thing, right? So it's always about their product and what it does for the customer and how it does it better and faster and easier than any existing competitor on earth. Now, the problem with that is that as a marketer, this is the wrong thing to do. Now, since this is a marketing show, This is exactly what I wanted to share with you today, and that is I wanted to urge you to stop selling products in your ads and in your content. I wanted to urge you and remind you that doing so puts you in the same exact compartment as far as your prospect is concerned as your competition. So if you're selling a face cream and you're now coming out with a brand new face cream and say, hey, brand new for 2017, a face cream that eliminates acne within three seconds or less, what you've just done is you've automatically allowed the prospect to say, oh, here's another face cream guy. Here's another face cream solution. Here's another one of those people that sell lotions and potions that are supposed to make me beautiful, right? And so that happens automatically whether you want it or not, whether you like it or not, because that's just human nature. That's the way the brain works at this stage. Because let's face it, I mean, we're being hit with like six to 10,000 ads a day now. A day, not even a week, a day. And what this does, it, it creates, it forces the brain to create patterns in order to analyze and just, you know, try to make sense of it all. So that is why my advice to you is to not sell your products if you wish to stand out in this marketplace. In fact, you would be doing the complete opposite by selling products because you will not stand out regardless of how amazing your product is. Now, instead, what you want to do 
is you want to sell ideas. And the difference is that when you sell ideas, you almost never talk about the product. When you sell ideas in your content, when you put out prolific content that sells ideas, what this does is it speaks directly to the customer in their own language. And it allows you to simply add at the very end, you can say something like, and if you're interested in XYZ, check out my product here and then they click the link, right? So if they go and they check out your product after you sold them on the big idea of the product, and let's face it, every good product has at least one great idea behind it. And if it doesn't, then you either have not looked for it hard enough or you got a really bad product and you should sell something else. So when you sell this big idea, what you're truly doing is you're allowing the prospect and the prospect's brain to process that information and to really put you in a different category than everybody else you're competing against. Everybody else. Right now, all I see is, is marketers that simply do not get this concept. Even though this is not a new concept, this is the, the interesting part. This concept goes back to Eugene Schwartz. And that guy used to write copy a long time ago. He was one of the best copywriters, in my opinion, that ever lived. And he introduced the concept of the big idea a long, long, long time ago. And so this concept can be and should be used by anybody. I mean, I don't care if you sell lotions and potions or business opportunities. It really doesn't matter. You need to have one big idea and it better be a good one, an idea that doesn't only stand out, but also makes a lot of sense to the customer. For instance, recently I released a new product uh, through the traffic agency called Distilled Traffic. And this product is, again, it was positioned through one main idea. Well, actually there were several ideas, several smaller ideas that led into a big one. And so the ideas were, first off, the competition, right? The marketplace is extremely, extremely saturated right now and what this does it drives the ad costs up because you you could actually get a facebook ad to convert at you know 50 cents a lead a long long time ago but today you know even the biggest i mean even the biggest marketers even the companies that are really really good at split testing and tracking and optimizing offers you know they're aiming towards eight to twelve dollars per lead Okay, that's a lot of money, especially if you're getting started. And so the letter begins with this big idea that, you know, the marketplace is saturated and that if you want to get leads cheaper and better, then you better follow a different path. And then I introduce the path. So if you're subscribed to my list, you've probably seen that letter that I'm referring to. But the point is I could stand on the shoulders of an idea to deliver my message and as a result i'm able to get the response i'm looking for in the marketplace even though let's face it the traffic marketplace has gotten so competitive that there's like literally hundreds and hundreds of competing agencies that are available to my prospects literally if they just you know google something like a traffic agency so my point is this doesn't matter how competitive your marketplace is doesn't matter what you sell or how long have you been selling it you need to make the transition you need to make a shift from selling products to selling ideas and when you do you will instantly stand out from the crowd you will instantly be perceived as a different kind of business because a business that gets the prospect a business that the prospect may feel comfortable looking into. Until then, you're just one out of many potential solutions that are just noise in the marketplace. That's all you really are. You know, there's a great song by Scorpions, uh, Dust in the Wind, right? And so that's, that's really what happens if all you're doing is selling a product is you're just dust in the wind and the prospect just walks right through this sandstorm, you know, with their face covered and they don't even pay attention. So if you ever wonder why you could run a Facebook ad for two months and it doesn't do anything for you, right? That is the reason why. If you ever wonder about how come I mail out to my list every day, yet nobody seems to respond to anything, it's probably because you're not introducing exciting ideas. Now, they don't have to be new, just have to be exciting and they, they have to make sense. So if you are struggling to kind of break through 
the clutter in the inbox is because your ideas aren't there. Your big ideas either don't exist or they are too weak and too, if you will, saturated or, well, let's put it this way. They don't sound different enough for the prospect to really feel like they need to invest the time to check them out. So hopefully that gives you some food for thought and inspires you to create better marketing so you can stand out in the saturated marketplace. This is Igor Kafitz. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time we chat, have a good one. Thank you for listening to The Liz Building Lifestyle. Make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Google Play to never miss an episode. Because who knows, just one conversion tactic we share on the show might double your list and double your business. Download the transcript of today's episode and all future episodes at lizbuildinglifestyleshow.com. And don't forget to claim your complimentary copy of the Wealthy List Builder Survival Guide at lizbuildinglifestyleshow.com forward slash survival. This is Igor Kafetz, and until next time we talk, have a good one. This is the podcastfactory.com.